What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Mixer, coming to you with another how-to video in Adobe Audition 2020. Now, I know that you might, man, you might know this, you might not. If you are a beginner, you need to know this. This is one crucial step that will help you in the long run with learning everything else you need to know with everything, EQ compression, reverb, delays, limiting, all of that. This will help just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So um let's start with okay adobe audition starts with a metronome at 130. if you don't know what a metronome is this is your metronome right here at the top if you don't know how to access it you hit this little button okay as you can hear i have a little clicking in my mixer um but what that is doing is activating the metronome on and off. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing you need to find a beat. When you get on here, you on YouTube, let's see. On YouTube or just have a beat that you don't know the tempo of. Um, Let's go into our 2018 because this is the practice I started maybe a few years ago. So all my updated beats are more like the date and then the tempo. So I already know the tempo of these. If you don't know the tempo, this is what you should do. This is a, another strategy you can use. So let's start. Um, oh, first one. Okay, so Trap Girl. Let's start right there. Um, let's get that. I made that in... Six eight eighteen. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I'm actually gonna cut my board off for a minute. All right, so the first step in this is you want to cut all of the extra space at the beginning, and this is gonna make it work every time. Every beat you do, you should do this. This is the first step to any. You pull it in, you trim it. Okay, and that's gonna set. Your metronome is going to start at zero. So your beat is going to start at zero. Now we can start from the 130-ish. First, I want to listen to it, and I want to turn it down. I want to turn, uh, let me get it back. Okay, it's all the way down. Let me listen to the beat. Okay, so normally I do like a one, two, three, four, two, two. And that gives me like a realistic feel. When I say realistic feel, I mean like the tempo is between 40 and man, maybe like 120, 125 or so. And that tells me a lot about the track. If it's a trap type beat, it's probably a double tempo halftime. So um, it just depends. I normally start out at a regular tempo. So I'm going to play it again, and then I'm going to try tempo until I kind of get close, and then I'm going to, like, y'all see the adjustments. Okay, so I want to start around 80. Let's start there. And then we're going to turn up our metronome. And what you want to do is just keep uh, playing it from the beginning. You want to turn your metronome up loud so you can make sure it's like, do, do, do. You know, or if it's double time, it's like do, 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 do. It'll be that the whole time. So, too fast off top. Um, let's go down to 65. It felt too fast, like, like way, way too fast. And that's too slow. I'm not sure if you can hear how it was going slower than the beat. little too fast let's go back just a notch okay it's starting to get left okay so that is close but it's not it boom 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 okay it's right so far But it's not it. It was close. So 69.8. OK. 
Okay, so it's it's falling off again. Okay, so we are so close. Either it's close or we will have to multiply that and double time it. So let's try it again. I'm gonna scoot up. Okay, so yeah, it's still off. Uh, let's try, I believe we tried 70 if we didn't. It feels right. Okay. Okay, so everything feels cool. Um, so yeah. 70 is our tempo. Okay, so that is how you match your session and your beat. And once you do this, you will be able to like go inside your reverbs, uh, set some timings. Uh, you will be able to go into some delays, uh, set the time. Uh, the metronome is already set in it, so 70, so it automatically link in. You won't have to uh, tap it, you know, so doing that at that is kind of giving you a little advantage starting out so that is one good technique that i use that you can try let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe and i appreciate y'all for tuning in and i want y'all to follow me at mix of the producer and go check some beats out because i i know y'all hear the beats so mr mix of the producer.com uh go check some stuff out man so uh leave a likes uh either a thumbs up or thumbs down you know what I'm saying on the how-to video but let me know what you think and if the strategy worked for you in Adobe Audition 2020, yeah, let me know. Yeah, I'm out. Y'all have a good one.